Today we have this 2018 Chevy Silverado and we need to change that motor mount. That motor mount is right there. And it is difficult on this vehicle because this is the four wheel drive system, the C71 Chevy Silverado. And you have the front differential here in the way. Not to mention the drive axles and all that stuff. All right, so <clears throat> the way people usually get this done is drop all of this here. That's going to be a mission on itself. So what I'm going to try to attempt is going to try to do it from the top. I am going to try. <laughs> Again, try. Uh, I'm going to remove the uh, exhaust manifold. So I'm going to disconnect the catalytic converter from it down here. There's the three bolts or the three nuts holding down the three bolts to the manifold log. We'll remove those, loosen it from the bottom, and then we'll drop the vehicle down and we will work our way down. And hopefully we get that sucker out because I really do not want to drop this whole differential. I don't even have anything to drop it with. <laughs> I bet you that shit is heavy as fudge. All right, so let's knock those three bolts loose. I'm going to hit it with some WD-40 and I'll let it sit for a little bit. Hopefully, it breaks. Loose. Doesn't break. <laughs> Alright, I'm using the impact with a 15 millimeter socket. Sweet. I got the first nut loose. For the other ones, I'm going to have to use a swivel to get to them. There's one here. And we might have to remove that oxygen sensor to get to this top one up there. Alright, for this one, I did not have to take off the oxygen sensor. I used a short 15 millimeter socket with a swivel and a few extensions to be able to get to it. And I used the hand ratchet to be able to get it loose. There it is. And I'm just driving this out. Bolts are ready, or nuts are ready loose. I just have to drive it out. And then the uh, exhaust log should be loose and then we'll move up to the top. Alright, and this is what I used, a short 15 with a swivel extension and another extension. I was able to get it, I got all three nuts off. Now we'll lower the vehicle down and we'll start the process from the top. Alright, so we're here on top and it is a scary sight. <sighs> Alright, so we're going to have to disconnect these uh, ignition coil wires. Oh my goodness. We might have to disconnect this from here to get a little bit more room. Oh my goodness, we might have to disconnect this to get a little bit more room. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, right on it. Let's remove this sucker from here to access a little bit more room. Uh, it should just um, come undone, but it does not want come undone. Come on, cover. Oh, 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 oh. The light's in the way. We have to remove the oil cap. That will most definitely help. All right, let's get this sucker out of here. Ah, oh, shoot, dang, that dipstick's also in the way. All right, everything is in the way. Oh, just be careful with this. Do not break it. Take your time. All right, I was able to shift this up and wiggle it out. There we have it. Let's put this oil cap back into place. We don't want anything falling in there. All right, let's now disconnect the pigtail, pigtail, the ignition cable. And then we'll disconnect it from down here. Just give it a little twist and wiggle back and forth. And these suckers are stuck. Stupid tight. Might need some pliers. And just. Ah, wow, 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 wow. Be careful. Oh my gosh, really? All right, patch myself up. I'm gonna fucking throw some gloves on. Let's remove the rest of those freaking wires. All right, got all of them out. That last one was a bitch. I had a legit pull it from underneath here and. <laughs> kind of just yank on the cable and I got hurt again right there 
Thank you so much. Uh, I really love this job. And uh, I think we're going to have to remove that freaking dipstick out the way because it is right in between that manifold log. So let's get a torque little bit in there and remove that from there. All right, looks like that's going to be a Torx 30. So I'm going to try to get in there real quick. Oh, you know what? A little baby one would be perfect with a little swivel. Nice. All right, and we'll get this sucker off from here. Sweet. Let's drive that sucker out now. All right, and hopefully, yep, we can just pull this sucker out and we'll set this over to the side. All right, so we are getting more and more room. Um, next, what we're going to do is uh, whew, get a little bit more room, I guess. Um, let's remove this power, this power steering, this steering rack, pin, guide, rod whatever you want to call this thing let's get the sucker out the way um there's two bolts and two nuts holding it into place up there and right down here i suggest you do not move your wheels or your steering wheel after you remove that uh i am going to mark it so that way hopefully i could put everything back to aligned and have no steering issues. All right, it's going to be a size 15 millimeter socket. I am going to try my best <laughs> to get this sucker out of here. Um, we could turn the steering wheel a little bit just to give us the proper angle, but once you mark it and you take it off, make sure you do not touch it. So I am going to give myself a little bit of angle, turn this one here uh just maybe about above here so i could ratchet it out and then since this one's kind of already aiming up i think i'm going to start with that one so i'll turn it left first and then i'll turn it right all right and ooh, steering wheel is turning might have to lock it or use the impact all right i'm gonna use the impact let's see how good this goes I say pretty dang good. It's already coming off. Womp, womp, womp. There's a nut on the other side. <laughs> the motherfucker spinning. <laughs> All right. Let's break out the wrench. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to go old school. 15 and the speed ratchet, 15. Um, if I had a small electric ratchet. I might be able to get in there. This sucker is too big though. I might be able to make it work though. <laughs> I really don't want to struggle though. Old school it is. All right, sweet. This one, I was able to hit it with the impact. It has a little clip there. Now, this is the point of no return. So once you remove these bolts, you want to make sure this is aligned correctly and you do not move this whatsoever. Don't want to move the bottom, don't want to move the top. So I am actually going to remove the key from here so it does not turn whatsoever. Kind of prevent it from changing alignment on there. And like I said, I am going to mark it. I uh, really don't need to, but just for a little peace of mind, I want to make sure because I mean, it just slips, slips in into the same grooves but I just want to make sure that this is not turned or anything, you know what I mean? I want to make sure it is correct. Just like so. That's it, that's it. It doesn't hurt. All right, now we'll remove both of these bolts and remove this bar from here, the shaft. All right, I'll also lower the vehicle back down so shit does not move. Oh my goodness. The sucker is not wanting to come off. Awesome. 
All right, you just want to wiggle this sucker back and. All right, I found it easier if you pull this back, wiggle this out. There it is, and then bring this to the side, bring this down, and there we have it. This is the upside. This is the downside. Uh, I'm gonna put just T O T O P on this side. So I know that this is the top side, just in case. There it is. Just because I'm gonna lay it down, and I don't want to like, oh shit, which was the top side? You know what I mean? <laughs> I know y'all been there sometimes. If you haven't, it's a fun experience. All right, so it looks like we're gonna have to remove this exhaust heat shield from here. Next, looks like maybe a 10 mil, hopefully. All right, it is a size 10. I see three visible. One, two, three down, down there. Hopefully that's it. We will find out. All right, I got all three bolts off. Heat shield is off. Sweet, I'm gonna soak all those bolts up with some WD-40 so it breaks loose. <clears throat> and there's the motor mount. There it is. We just gotta get that exhaust log out. And then we'll take off that heat shield on that motor mount and remove the three bolts. And then there's I think two or four bolts holding it onto the frame or, or the engine block. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get there, right? Soak them suckers. I'm gonna let that sit for a cool minute. Let it penetrate. And uh, hopefully it's uh, they come out smooth like butter. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, so uh, these are going to be 14 millimeter socket. Uh, that last one at the end, ooh, that one's going to be a toughie. But for these easy peasy ones, I am going to be using this here, and hopefully this comes out right. I'm sorry, size 13. I think I grabbed the wrong socket before I switched it out to the bigger size. Oh yay! That came off. That came off. That came off. That came off. And let's see for the next ones. Oh yeah, that WD-40 is putting in work. Hopefully that's what it is, and maybe this big ass tool as well. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's a tidy. Oh, I'm gonna need both hands. Maybe not. Yee yee. Sweet, so let's just remove this exhaust log manifold out of here. All right, so this is a stupid tight spot right here. I'm using the ratchet wrench and it's walking. Ouch, it's walking though, it's working. So I try to get a swivel back there. Heck no, that's not happening. This is going to be my solution. Alright, I switched tools. Now I'm using a quarter inch ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket. Uh, it's all hard. <laughs> it's all hard. <laughs> There's like no room back here. So just take your time. Do not get frustrated. Take a break if you have to. Just get this shit done. Because you need to. Alright. I broke them all loose, but I started off with this one here. If we clean this sucker up with the wire brush, it would make it so much easier to install, which I am. I'm going to clean all these suckers up, but now we just have three, four more, and these are a lot easier than that last one. So we just got to remove these four, and we're almost there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to speed ratchet my way out of here. All right, for this one, I had to use a deep socket because this little nub where you bolt on the heat shield was in the way. There it is. Exhaust manifold is out. Ex uh, exhaust gasket is out. Oh, and now the exhaust manifold is out. Yes, finally, we are almost there. 
almost there. <sighs> Hello, motor mount. Nice to meet you. All right, so we have three bolts holding down onto the actual frame. Uh, we have, can't even freaking feel them. I feel one underneath this heat shield. Two, so a total of four. It's gonna be one here and then another one on the other side. And this is like riveted on a little heat shield. So that's gonna be fun to get to. And same thing with this one. This is also riveted on. Nice, so we have the three here at the bottom and then we have, holy smokes, the four over here. Uh, that is going to be fun. So, let's get started. Oof, oof, I'm already getting goosebumps. All right, for this, we're gonna be using a 15 millimeter socket. I am going to be using my impact. Um, maybe this swivel to give me some ankles. Yeah, I'm gonna need some angles. Just like so. So, swivel 15, extension, extension, pew, pew. Pew, pew. <laughs> Let's get that bitch off. Alrighty then, the three bolts are off. Now to get the motor mount off of the engine. There's four bolts holding it into place. Uh, we need to pick up this engine a little bit. So, uh, let me figure out how I'm going to do that. Alright, I relocated the jack with a couple of woods and I put it right underneath the engine oil pan. And it looks like it is lifting up the engine. So we just want to lift it a little bit. Not too much. We don't want to damage that oil pan. Alright. And there you can see the engine lifting up. Sweet. That's good enough. Alright, I'm going to use a deep 15mm socket with a small extension. This one is my... Happens? Is it happens? <laughs> Ratchet with a swivel head. Yeah, I'm going to try to get these suckers off. All right. Oh, nice. Well, I removed the little extension, so it's just the deep socket. Um, those are pretty tight on there, and there's really no room to ratchet them out of here. I'm banging my hands and every freaking thing, so just be careful. And there is four of them. I feel like the bottom ones are going to be even tougher. All right, and now the other side. Ah, oh, yay. Alright, so I relocated positions. I am laying on the freaking engine. Um, I'm trying to get to these bottom bolts. You can kind of see this one here. That's one of them. Good luck getting to it. The other one is down in here. Oh, shoot. Let's see if we can see it on the camera. Nope, it's too dark. Um, but that sucker is ah, down in here. Holy shit. So what I am doing is this heat shield here. I'm trying to bend this sucker inwards, just like so. And I can feel the bolt here now. Um, oh, you can see it right there in the camera. That's the one we need to get to. All right, so we have that bolt to get to, and we have that bolt to get to. You know what, let's just bend this bitch up while we're at it. Let's see, that will give us a little bit more wiggle room. All right, so say a padre nuestro and good luck, bro. All right, so for this one, I'm using a 3 8 ratchet with a 15 short, and it fits perfectly. Now, can I break this loose? Oh my god, that's another problem. All right, upgraded ratchets. This one is. A uh, bit of an extension, a collapsible extension ratchet, and uh, she is coming out. Ouch! 
just be careful. This job has been hurting me a lot. All right, this one is off. That is three of them. Uh, one more. One more. The last one. The hardest one. The hardest one to get. Oh gosh, I can't even see it. Anyways, it's back there somewhere. Have fun fishing it out. All right, I think I got it. Oh my god, I'm putting too much pressure on my little plate. It already fucking collapsed. Dang it. Um, man, I was about to break you loose. Fuck. All right, repositioned myself, and I hope I am taking off the right boat. <laughs> That's gonna suck. <laughs> All right, I lifted up the engine a little bit, and that made it a little bit easier. Not so much uh, stress on that boat. Uh, it is coming off already. This is the last one, and we're about to get the new one installed. Yes. I'm not gonna make a video of installing it. Sorry, guys. Uh, you just put everything in the reverse order. You took that shit out. <laughs> sorry, so sorry. But fuck this shit. This is hard. This has been legit all fucking day. I started like around 10. It is now boom, 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 5:37. No, I'm sorry, 4:37. Um, but I, I have been taking my time. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, good luck installing it, cause it was fun removing it. <laughs> my boss wants this job done today. I was like, yeah, today. Mm, we'll get it removed. We'll get it installed tomorrow. We'll finish it up <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> this guy fucking comedian fucking comedian Eesh. Show you how much a comedian I am oh, Fuck you <laughs> That's how you get that piece of shit out of there Yeah Let's get the new one in. Damn. All right, there is the old one. Here is the new one. This is the AutoZone part number. Remember, the way you removed it, it's the way it's gonna go back in. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and have fun. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Please, take your time. And some quick tips to install this. I had to bend these heat shields. This one broke putting on this top bolt, but I got everything in. I'm putting in these bottom bolts now, and it's kind of downhill from here now. All we got to do is just slap everything back into place. I feel like this was the hardest point, but that's it. Thank you for watching. All right, just real quick. So you did have to bend these to get those bolts installed. I installed the exhaust manifold log. This one was the hardest one to get. You're able to reach the nuts down here. I installed all of them. Make sure the little donut is in between. Uh, put in the oil dipstick. And then we'll have the rest of the stuff here on the table. And I am saving the heat shield. I think I'm going to do the heat shield next. Since I already have all this stuff here. And then uh, the heat shield goes next. And then the covers, uh, well, the uh, ignition coils, wires, and then the covers, and then the EVAP. And that's basically it, and good luck. <laughs> it is the next day for me. Good luck, y'all.